in common with an Olympian, but when you put these world-class athletes' level of commitment, perseverance, and practice in the context of your own finances, you might be surprised and just how alike you are, or at least how alike you could be, we should say. Certified financial planner Joe Bird joined us this morning to talk more about it. Joe, good morning. Good morning, Andrea. So let's talk about this. Commit to goal or goals when it comes to your finances, much like an Olympic athlete. Well, you know, unlike the Olympics, we don't have a choice. I heard you and Brooks talking about what event you may want to yes. participate in. We're all all in the in the game when it comes to our personal finances. True. Some are going to win the gold, and some aren't even going to finish. <laughs> That's right? a nice way yeah, to so your it. first point was once again. Goal. Yeah. What you what you want to strive for? Okay. Is it paying off my student loan? Is it getting out of credit card debt? Is it maximizing my contribution to my 401k? You need to have a financial goal and work toward it on a regular basis. Be sure you set that goal. Because so often we're in a million different directions. Well, do I pay that bill off? Do I contribute exactly. to this? Exactly. Okay. Set a goal and work toward it. Recognize the necessary sacrifices. Well, it's never easy. You know, if, if it was easy, we'd all be gold medal winners. True. We'd all be in the Olympics. We'd all be rich. But you have to recognize that in order to get there, there are going to be sacrifices to be made. And those that are willing to pay the price and do it will, in fact, get the gold. And like I said, some won't finish. Okay. It's hard sometimes when we're thinking about maybe expanding and going out for dinner and sort of indulging ourselves. It's always hard. It's never yeah. easy. But that's what life is all about. It's making those sacrifices to get you there. Look at the Olympians. Look at what they do and how much they have to sacrifice to get to where, to where they want to go. Great point. Yeah. Also, showing up every day whether you want to or yeah. not. Yeah, you know, the Olympians get up every day, train, do it day in and day out, no matter what the weather is, no matter how they feel, push yourself, push yourself, push yourself, and that's the secret to financial success. you gotta, you got to force yourself to do it. Discipline. Discipline so is important. the key. It separates the winners from the losers in yeah. the Olympics and in financial life. Yeah, no kidding. Right. Isn't that true? Overcome setbacks. Well, we're always going to have them, you know. Olympian yeah. gets up up with a with a bad uh, hamstring or aches and pains in our situation the kids get sick the roof falls in transmission falls out whatever it is you're going to have those setbacks it's never going to be smooth but you have to overcome them work through them and plow through and not dwell on them right exactly right they're all, you're recognizing you're all going to have them but it's how we deal with them that, that determines the winners from the losers okay and also you say strive for consistency well you want to be consistent in what you're doing set, your, set what your goal is work toward it on a regular basis don't over extend you know don't don't just say well I'm gonna be another Warren Buffett or I'm gonna have two million dollars <laughs> we all like to be years. another Warren but, Buffett <laughs> but no but no have what your goal is and consistently work toward it and that'll get you there okay 10 percent 10 percent you got it right you can maximize your for contribution to your 401k if you do that you'll be ahead of 95 percent of America okay before we let you go right. what what Olympic event would you participate in Jeff? badminton it's easy <laughs> <laughs> unlike our weightlifter over there in the weather department <laughs>